Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a purple gin and tonic, or G&T for short. Now, this is a simple drink that's been around for a long time that you can do a lot to play around with it and to get your look and taste any way you want. Now, I am going to show you a little bit of a technique piece with this that you can use to wow all your friends. But first, let's actually fill the glass with a little bit of ice because you don't need to shake this at all. You don't need to do anything fancy except make yourself a fantastic drink. Now that you've done that, reach for your gin of choice. In this case, I'm using Empress 1908 gin. Now this is a purple gin and that's because it contains butterfly pea flower tea. So the fantastic thing about that specific flower and the tea is when you add citrus to it, it actually changes color. It's absolutely fantastic. So we're going to use a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now this does look more blue than purple. And to alleviate that and make the change that we want to get that color, and this next step you can just adjust the amount that you put in. I'm going to add a little bit of lime juice. Now you don't have to do it. This is an optional step because I like a little bit of citrus in my g and -Ts. So what we'll do is we'll cut this in half and cut out a slice for the garnish, then cut a wedge and squeeze it directly into the glass. Now that you've done this, clean your hands off and grab yourself your version of tonic water, whatever you want. And this is where you can make adjustments too. I'm just using a basic tonic water. You could use something like Indian spice or a ginger style spice, whatever type that you want. And you'll notice that slowly this is starting to lightly turn purple or a lighter version of purple. But the technique part we're going to use, and you'll be able to ask yourself, how did I never know this, is we're going to use the spoon to pour our tonic water all the way down this handle. And that's what these grooves will do. They will actually hold the tonic water in place and allow us to keep all of our effervescence. So just put it in like that. Open up your can or bottle, whatever you happen to use, and we're just going to slowly pour this in. And look at that, absolutely perfect. You give yourself a very, very light, beautifully purple GNT. Now take yourself your little slice here, put it in, and now you have a gorgeous GNT. Mm, exactly everything you want in a gin and tonic. It has those fantastic notes that just give you what you want, a little bit of bubble and some gorgeous color to set it off. And you got a piece of citrus if you want to add a little bit more. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.